Today I'm going to show you how to take a character, turn it to stone and get it to disintegrate. I will be using Rayfire, one of my favorite assets which I've reviewed before, along with character effect shader pack and my go to model Unity Chan. So let's see how this is done. The first script that we are going to look at in this one I'm going to go over quickly because it's the simple one. It's called apply shader which takes in a shader and on click with my left mouse button I am going to apply that shader to my model. So you get the skin mesh renderers and the mesh renderers of your model and loop through it and just set the shader on your materials and that's about it. I've got a simple scene set up with my model in already and I've got my shader apply shader script added on here. The one that I added on is the statue BMP script. There's a few of them. There's the diffuse one and the physically based rendering one as well. So if I press play and left click that's it. It applies that shader on and you can see that looks like stone. It could be a bit better if you apply a normal map onto this just to give it some more roughness to it. So the one that I'm really interested in is of course the script that does the destruction. The next script we will be looking at is called crack me up and this will be responsible for the actual destruction of the mesh and smashing it to pieces. Firstly on startup we will be caching the mesh and skin mesh renderers. This is for performance reasons because we don't want to end up looking up these components while we are doing the destruction. We want that to already have been looked up, uh, especially since Unity Chan is made up of multiple mesh and skin mesh renders. This will have a performance impact, so it's better to do that on start. Next thing, and this is the most important thing to get Rayfire working with the skin mesh renderers is to actually bake the meshes first. So we can also do that on startup and I didn't think this would work baking it on startup, but it does seem to work. So. I'll show you how that's done in a bit. And lastly, for all the game objects uh, composing your character, we will add Rayfire components to it so that each one can be smashed to bits independently. I must mention that I did try to combine all the meshes, but it did not seem to work well with the skin mesh renderer. So if anyone can get that right, please let me know because I struggled with that for quite a bit before uh, ending up with the simpler solution, which is not great because there's still some performance issues that I have but let's see how we do this. To cache the mesh renderers and skin mesh renderers we will create two arrays at the top of the class over here. Just off type skin mesh renderer and mesh renderer respectively and then we will just call get components in children for each one of those. For the first one of course mesh renderer and the next one skin mesh renderer and that's all you need to do to cache those. For baking the meshes we have to create a new array of type mesh and we are going to do the baking in a separate method which I call bake mesh. How do we do this? Firstly, we need to initialize that array and we will do that by getting the skin mesh renderer's length and looping through the array. So for each one of those meshes, we will create a new mesh and call bake mesh on each one of the skin mesh renderers that we cached already and passing in that mesh that we created. Okay, so that will bake the mesh to that actual object. And then of course we need to add a mesh filter to the game object that that skin mesh renderer is attached to. And then of course lastly actually call bake mesh. So let's test this out. I've got Unity Chan just expanded over here and mesh root is expanded because this is where all the sub meshes are. I'm going to take a front as an example. We can see that we've got skin mesh renderer. If I press play, we will see the mesh being created over here or the mesh filter being created. It does bake successfully, but we are not setting the mesh just yet. We are going to set the mesh only once we want that destruction to take place. Okay, when we want to destroy this object and get it to crumble apart, we are going to disable skin mesh renderer and then assign the bake mesh to this mesh filter. That will allow us to use Rayfire to destroy and make that mesh crumble. Our next step we're going to add in the create Rayfire components. I added a call in already and I added a variable in for the demolition amount. So let's see what we do here. Firstly, we need to go and loop through each one of the mesh renderers game objects. So remember we cache this up front and we are getting the game object and adding the Rayfire rigid component. Okay, this seems to be the most flexible for your runtime demolition. And let's see, for each one of these things, I'm just setting a few properties just to get it working. There is a ton of properties. If you look at the documentation over here, 
it is quite substantial so you guys can have a look at it and see what can help with this i know there's a bunch of stuff that i tried with uh, optimization that i couldn't quite get working and that's another reason why this i just set a, a few properties so i'm setting the demolition amount to that demolition amount variable which we have created up here and the material type i'm just defaulting to class there's a bunch of stuff that we can add here rubber wood concrete etc i'm just setting to glass that seems to have the nicest effect for me and next thing is we need to do the same thing for the skin mesh renderers with some exceptions uh, i edit it in the wrong place okay over there so the only difference you'll see here is i've done initialize which you should do for performance reasons it does not work on your normal mesh renders your objects just fall to the ground immediately okay so that's why i left that out there but it works fine for the skin mesh renderer and if we go to unity and press play select one of the sub meshes we will see that the ray fire rigid component is added in for those awesome so if i go and click the dem uh, demolish let's choose a hair frontier and you see that demolishes awesome now we just need to do that automatically in the script so the hardest parts are done all that's left is to invoke destruction of the mesh and what we are going to do is create another couple of methods for that first one being demolishing the skin mesh renderers this is quite straightforward what we are going to do is loot through the skin mesh renderers get the game object of it and this is important we need to set the mesh on the mesh filter so remember when we baked the meshes earlier we need to set it to the appropriate index so the meshes we stored in an array and we are looping through each of the skin mesh renderers so for that index we will just set that mesh disable the uh, skin mesh renderer because you don't want that displaying anymore and of course on the ray fire rigid component called the demolish method um, the easiest way to just test this out is on update just going to add an update method over here and when pressing this right mouse button right click I'm going to call the demolish skin mesh renderers to start off with. So let's just test this out and we'll do the normal mesh renderers in a bit, but let's just test this out. So I'm going to press play and this will work without changing it to, to stone. Remember we set that other script to on left click to turn it to stone. So if you right click, that's fine. But I just want to show you what I mean. If I just right click immediately, that works that's the skin mesh renderers gone down and the eyes are left blinking on top so we we need to just add that in for the normal mesh renderers and this is even simpler than doing it for the skin mesh renderers we are going to loop through the mesh renderers get the game object of it and call demolish on the ray fire rigid component of course let's not forget to call that method so we'll call demolish mesh renderers and let's test this out now so if I right click that will demolish everything and you can see that looks really cool I'm just gonna stop it and increase that uh, variable where is it we called it demolish amount let's set that to something like maybe six and you'll see that it demolishes a lot more but it's also slower okay, that doesn't seem to have much of an effect let's make it 15 and you can see that really took a toll by making it 15 but of course that's a lot more pieces lying down on the ground over here as you can see i created another scene with some movement added in so you can see we can move around and as soon as i right click we can demolish it so that works there as well it's not just a static character i've created a public git repository for this which is in the description below however i could not add ray fire character effect shader pack or unity chan due to it not being owned by me so you can download it and then import those packages to get it to work otherwise you can just have a look at the scripts and use it in your own projects if you so desire until next time guys enjoy